one of the really common things I get asked is, can you easily embed a uh, Office 365 document from SharePoint or um, from OneDrive for Business? And it's quite hard to do. Uh, it can be easier, but I'm going to show you a couple of tricks to enable you to do that. So today I'm going to go to uh, my Word uh, document, and I'm just going to create a, uh, a template document here. Pretty easy, and uh, we're going to look to share this with um, the ability to embed. So if we go share, we'll see currently that uh, I have the ability to share with anyone. Now it's possible that your uh, Office 365 administrator has locked that down, and that might be greyed out, uh, that you can only share with people inside your organisation. But if you have share with anyone, then you will be able to uh, embed this into a document. Now you might want to turn off allow editing, you may even possibly want to set an expiration date, but we go apply and then we grab a copy of that link. Copy, cool. So with hanging on to that, uh, the actual instructions, and I'll include this link in the blog post um, for how to do this, are all included here. And it's worthwhile scrolling down to the bottom because it does actually have a list of additional parameters which uh, you do need to be able to do. But the key is here you need to add an action to the end of your URL. Uh, action equals embed view. So I'm going to show you how you can test this uh, with uh, this HTML generator. So if we change the source URL here to be the one that we've just created and we say action equals embed view and run. We should see on the right hand side the uh, document that we created. There it is sitting in there as an embed which is pretty handy. So you will be able to take that chunk of code and embed that into your blog or your uh, learning management system or something like that as easy as you like. So just to prove to you that that is not a fluke I'm going to jump into um, a WordPress site here that I've uh, got some embedded documents in here, a couple of different ones, some Excel, some Word, and if I go and have a look at the HTML that I have here, so for that top one I'm going to replace the source code with the one that I've just generated. There it is there, and you'll see I've got a couple of other parameters in there which are pretty standard sort of HTML iframes, such for example, the uh, width and height of that. I might just change that to say 750, and oh, that's too big, 750, and then go back to the visual, and we should see my new Word document. There it is there, embedded successfully. So a pretty simple way to share PowerPoint, uh, Word, Excel documents from uh, SharePoint or OneDrive for Business. Give it a go.